Good morning and welcome to the Stuhr Museum. We're here in the Leo Stuhr building and I am Chris Hochstetler. I'm the Executive Director of Stuhr Museum and I'm pleased to present to you a virtual tour of Wings Over the Platte Art Exhibition. But first, I'd like to thank the Nebraska Arts Council for bringing us this wonderful uh, art exhibit each year and I would also like to thank the Nebraska Cultural Endowment and Nebraskans for the Arts for everything that they do to bring art to us, now virtually, in our homes. And right now I'd like to, to present to you our featured artist, Deb Kubik, who is on the lower floor of uh, the Leo Stewart building right now. Uh, and we're standing in front of this wonderful collection of Aspen pieces. Uh, and these are particularly some of my favorites in the exhibition of Deb's work. And I want to talk a little bit about Deb's work and her process and just how I think that uh, creatively it's very extraordinary work. Uh, but first I'd like to uh, suggest how we encounter these pieces and how we encounter art in general is very important to us as human beings. Art has such a huge role in uh, developing empathy and expression and how we relate to each other and also during this time of pandemic it's, a, it's an extraordinary way for us to get those feelings out and to express ourselves uh, but encountering that artwork can be very calming it can be peaceful and all of those things and Deb's work certainly encompasses I think all of those qualities things that we look for in art are usually depth color form line, structure, uh, but also some of those things that are a little bit more intangible like emotion and uh, motion itself, uh, and statement. Art is supposed to evoke something in us and Deb's work uh, evokes in me a certain amount of joy. And when I look at these aspens, uh, you, you consider Deb's work and how she does it. She works in glass. Her studio is in Omaha, Nebraska, and she's very prolific. In fact, uh, the entire low, lower floor here, the uh, Densdale Gallery, is, is completely full of her work. Uh, and it is just extraordinary to encounter in this really uh, pristine setting. Uh, and the work itself is fused glass, so the glass is actually uh, basically baked and that color is, is fused inside the glass. Uh, but, and she uses frit which are, are little chips of colored glass uh, in that fusing process. And she also does a, a, a technique that's called tacking, where that frit is actually kind of tacked on to an already fused piece. Gives it some very rich texture, uh, some very dynamic color, some, some real form to it. Uh, Deb's work actually appears to me oftentimes to be almost like a painting versus just a glass sculpture, and it really is glass sculpture. Uh, I am intrigued by Deb's work uh, for many reasons, but one of the reasons is that glass is really a utilitarian um, craft, so to speak. Uh, we consider glass oftentimes, uh, or we don't consider how it's so useful to us. You know, we have it in our kitchens, we have it in our homes, we have it in our windows, in our glasses, eyeglasses that we look through, and our camera lenses that I'm looking into right now. Uh, but Deb has taken glass from a very utilitarian form to something that is really extraordinary. It's truly an art form. And when you look closer at these Aspen pieces, for example, you'll see the contours of the forest you'll feel the blueness of the sky, you'll see the color of the aspen trees, almost like it's an oil painting or an acrylic. 
Deb is truly a master at this. She produces pieces that are tabletop or pedestal pieces, and she also produces wall hangings and some pieces that are more utilitarian as well. And she also does jewelry, so that is something to note. So please look at her on Facebook, Deb Kubik, uh, but also her website is Deb Kubik Designs, uh, and she is located in Omaha, Nebraska. Truly a, a wonderful artist, a great friend to Stewart Museum. All of this work is for sale right now, and I would, I would say that this work is very accessible. I've actually purchased a couple of pieces myself, so if you get a chance, uh, please contact us. We can share the, the nature of the work that's still avail available uh, for sale. Uh, it's truly dynamic, and we love Deb Kubik's work.